Royal Flush Girls, Jeannie and Ivy at the WPT National Philippines. We have had so much poker action here these past two days and I am really hungry. How about you? I'm starving. What should we eat? Let's do Italian. I really want some meat. <laughs> Me too. Let's do both. <laughs> All right, let's go. We've been having an amazing time so far here at Solaire Resort and Casino. And we are joined now by executive chef of Finestra, Chef Salvatore. Hi, hi Chef, how are you? Excellent, wonderful, fantastic. So tell us about Finestra and what makes this restaurant so special. Uh, Finestra is a, uh, a beautiful Italian restaurant. What makes special is me, the executive Italian chef. So our food basically is, uh, I rediscovered all the old recipe from my grandmother and I revamp a little bit alive and so still a traditional Italian food. Wow, that's amazing. So chef, we hear that we're actually having an opportunity to prepare some signature dishes with you. So we're super excited and let's get started. We're gonna get you some uniform, a little hat, a little apron. We're ready to go. Oh, let's do it. Tartufati pasta. We use a porcini mushroom, a little butter, shallots, and garlic, and of course the truffle oil. That looks amazing. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. So um, tell us what's in this once again. Yes, okay. This is a very uh, traditional pasta. It's called uh, paccheri tartufati. It's with uh, truffle oil, parmesan cheese, and uh, porcini mushroom, and a touch of cream. Really, really good. Well, guys, if you're ever at the Solaire Resort and Casino, this is a must try. Finestra restaurant with Chef Salvatore. It's an authentic Italian restaurant. It's like your Lola's cooking. So come and join us next time. So we just had some amazing Italian food and I think Ivy is pretty filled up, but I'm ready for some protein. So we are here at Strip Steakhouse with Chef Eric. And Chef Eric, please tell us a little bit about Strip Steakhouse and what you have to offer. Strip is actually very, very proud in Manila to serve one of the freshest beef that we can have in the Philippines. Uh, like you can see here in the front of you, you have one of the most uh, popular cut, the most my favorite cut as well, so the ribeye. We have uh, Angus beef, a uh, uh, big chop. We have bone-in strip, very, very big, perfect for two. And then we have our prime ribeye as well. Uh, very popular, of course, we need to have some of our uh, uh, kabasi and wagyu beef. So we have uh, kabasi uh, from Australia and have our wagyu beef as well from the States. Uh, we try to be very, very modern, of course, a steakhouse. Uh, fine dining, yes, but we need to have a little bit of fun in our kitchen. We show a little bit of passion that we have. We try to uh, bring back all those classic. Those classic used to be very, very good, so we try to mix them discover about our guests and then uh, play around with it a little bit. Ivy and I have our chef's hats back on because we are going to help Chef Eric prepare a specialty. Tell us what we have here. So in the steakhouse, I need to have foie gras. I love foie gras. I think I will have to have foie gras on my toast every morning. I'm a big fan of it. So we have fresh foie gras directly from France called Le Rougier that I portioned for you earlier. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little plate for you with a little bit of Filipino twist. Uh, I'll do a little bit of ubi puree, the love ubi puree, it's pretty much a purple sweet potato. It's very, very traditional in the Philippines. And I'll do a plating for you. Mm -hmm. 
kit, a little bit of water and vegetable stock, and we just blend it together with a little bit of sugar. It's natural sweet, it's got a beautiful purple coloration, so uh, it goes very, very well with foie gras. At the same time, we have those Marillo cherry from Thailand. I'm doing a reduction with red wine, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sugar, uh, a little bit of garlic that I'm gonna reheat slightly. They have a little syrup on it as well. Nice foie gras uh, uh, melting. So the brioche should absorb that foie gras flavor as well. You know, when I'm tasting it, and then there is all my chef that he tastes the product. So a little bit, as I call it, a little bit of foie gras. All about presentation, right? It is. It is. It's important, right? Mm-hmm. But the steak, almost. Wow. Foie gras. Right. You try to create something. You don't want to create the same dish all over again with the same presentation. Yes, you do Caesar salad. You do classic dish, but you try to present it differently a little right. bit. That, that's that's my challenge. You always have to come up with something new and creative. Then I'll try to get. Pecan here. What is that pecan? Yes, Chinese. Really Every country I go, I try to find the best product that's possible. That actually looks too good to eat, but I think we should eat it anyway. <laughs> hey guys, if you're visiting Solaire Resort and Casino, please don't miss an absolutely must taste restaurant here, the Strip Steakhouse, whose Chef Eric's heading and his team right behind us. Um, we had the opportunity to actually taste some of his signature dishes with the Filipino twist, which makes it more interesting. So please join us next time here again in behalf of the Royal Flush Girls. Thank you very much, Chef Eric, for having us and accommodating us here at your lovely place. Always welcome, always welcome. <laughs>